Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Dune, the newer Dune. What do you know about this movie? Um, I don't know a lot. Uh, I know that there's an original. Um, I know this is based off of a book. It's Timothy Chalamet? Chala... Timothy Chalamet? Chalamet. And Zendaya's in it. That's all I got. And it's a sci-fi. This won our sci-fi poll. Yes. So we would like to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our sci-fi movie poll. Also, you might be able to tell I'm a little under the weather. I turned the corner, but my voice sounds a little deep. So <laughs> apologies if I uh, pop some cough drops or blow my nose or whatever. I'll try to edit all that out so it looks perfect. But yeah, I don't know too much. I probably know, I know two things. One thing reminds me of SpongeBob and I'll tell you about that after, okay. so I don't spoil anything. And then one other thing. <laughs> but don't I don't wanna, uh, so I know two things. Like plot? I don't know, because I don't really know what the plot is. Okay. So I don't know how influential the two things I know are. Okay. But that's that's about it. So I'll, I'll explain at the end what I know so that I don't spoil anything in case what I know is actually Im yeah, is important or something. Okay, um, obviously we know that the second film is coming out very soon. Oh, and the director is one of our favorites, which is a shame because we can't pronounce his last name, even though we had so many comments explaining how to pronounce his last name. And I definitely use those comments to learn how to pronounce his last name and I still can't do it. It's Dennis. V oh, but I don't even think it's Dennis. Oh, I like, think people were explaining to us, it's like, Denny. Yeah, Denny villain. The something. <laughs> Anyways, we just saw Prisoners. Yes. No. I mean, his work is absolutely phenomenal. We've enjoyed, I think, every single thing that we've watched on the channel of his. So that makes me more excited, even though I was already excited to watch this. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he has always knocked it out of the park, which is insane. I think he's probably maybe my favorite current director right now that's like really pumping out stuff on a consistent basis. Um, I mean, Blade Runner 2049, I think that was the name yeah. of it. Um, Sicario, which we saw before this channel existed. Yeah. I mean, so many, all of them are amazing. So I'm really excited to watch this um, and hopefully the second one gets some good reception as well. But yeah, from what I've heard about this, I think it's kind of, you like it or you don't. So I have a feeling we probably will. And then I've already heard great things about the second one. Oh, it's already out? No, but I've heard some like other directors talking. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, I'm super excited. So let's get into it. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, or Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. My planet Arrakis is so beautiful when the sun is low. Planet Arrakis. Jeez. Ooh. Someone's about to get ambushed. Their cruelty to my people is all I've known. I'm loving the uh, soundtrack and the design already. Richer than the Emperor himself. Oh, Dave. So that's one thing that I do know, spice. I don't know if it's literally spice or if it's like a resource like fuel. I'm not really quite sure. Oh. Dang, just out of the sand? Oh. Well, they're fighting back hard. By imperial decree, they were gone. Whoa, they just left? And who will our next oppressors be? Huh. What a uh, intro. Planet Arrakis, Spice, and that, what, what was it? Arrakis? Yeah. Okay, it's well into the future. House Atreides? Feels like Game of Thrones already. I gotta remember all these names. Yeah, I'm gonna butcher them. If you want it, make me give it to you. She's from the uh, Mission Impossible movies. Give me the water. Oh. Damn. So, he can control people? Spice is the sacred hallucinogen. Brings enormous health benefits. Oh, okay. Without spice, interstellar travel is impossible. Oh, shit. By far the most valuable substance in the universe. So Spice lets them travel. Yeah. Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin. Total of 1.46 million 62 Solaris round trip. Well, human computer. How 
house, Atreides shall immediately take control of Arrakis. Oh, sending them to Arrakis? Do you accept? You have a choice? Yeah, probably not. So the Emperor took that one house away and is sending this house there. House Atreides accepts! You'll seal. Just like seal their fate or something. It's done. Off to Arrakis. Such cool design of everything. I'd like you to take me with you. It would. That's too bad, because no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been having dreams about Arrakis and the Fremen. Atreides, Arrakis, Fremen. I saw you with the Fremen. Oh. So I do find them. There you go, that's a good omen right there, right? He's with them. Like, with them, with them. I felt like if I had been there, you'd be alive. I'm not taking this seriously. <laughs> Since that's why you want to come with me. You want some muscle? <laughs> no. <I> did? No. <laughs> See you in Arrakis, my boy. Oh. I know, are we about to lose Jason Momoa immediately? Father, I'd like to ask to join Duncan Idaho on a scout mission to Arrakis tomorrow. Duncan Idaho? What a name. You're the future of House Atreides. Is his name Paul? Is that what he said? Missed it. By making an alliance with the Fremen. That's what I've sent Duncan Idaho to arrange. Oh. Oh, and he saw... On Arrakis, we need to cultivate desert power. Wow, what a political move. You'll still be the only thing I ever needed you to be. My son. What a dad. Makes me worried for him. I'm worried for everyone <laughs> yeah. already. Really set the stage for a bunch of different houses and yeah. political War. warfare, normal warfare. Someone might imitate my stride. Are you the new weapons master? Give us a song instead. Whoa. That's rude. Oh, that was fast. Oh, damn, you got a little personal shield? He doesn't have a shield. Oh, he does. Ah, the slow blade penetrates the shield. Oh, that's what that was. I was wondering how he got through the first time. Unfortunately, it sounds like this war is in- I have you. I they have each other. You to join me in death. War is, war is impending. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this whole thing so far has been this balance of like insane technology, but very like old style stuff. Yeah. Swords and stuff, traditions, houses. You've never met Harkonnens before I have. They're not human, they're brutal. Harkonnen, Kitty Prime. Their world is very dark. Oh, this guy. How can the Emperor? We built. He's pissed. The traitor's voice is rising, and the Emperor is a jealous man. That was creepy. It reminded me of like a Apocalypse Now. Mm. Marlon Brando's just like doing that weird thing. So I wonder if the Emperor called them out to send Atreides in. To start the war. Yeah, to like obviously start the war, but also like maybe hoping that they'll get fucked up a bunch by the Fremen or something like that. Because mm. he said it was a gift, kind of, to House Arkanen. Everything's so intense. <laughs> Just walking. <laughs> Paul. Paul. Paul, wake up. I like this, like, little globe orb that follows him around. A little oracle. Mm -hmm. She wants to know about your dreams. Oh. Why is Dr. Yue here? He only needs a moment. Yeah. What's going on? His heart is strong as ever, my lady. Damn, so much secrecy already. Yeah. Like, I don't even know who we're supposed to be afraid of. I mean, if she's coming from the Emperor... Is she expecting shit to go down, like, right now? I mean, these people showed up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Leave us. You must do everything that my reverend mother tells you. You dismiss my mother in her own house. Come here. Whoa. 
Oh, is this the voice? Mm-hmm. How dare you use the voice on me? Put your right hand in the box. Oh, um... Your mother bade you obey me. Did she or did you make her mom say that using the voice? Poison needle. Remove your hand from the box and you die. No one will get past her. This is creepy. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg. What will you do? Why would his mom put him in this position? I don't know if she had a choice. Can he use the voice to get out of this? I have no idea what's happening, but I have chills. Enough. Damn, I wanted him to like blow up her head with the voice or something. Yeah, I thought he was gonna do something to her. You inherit too much power. Not well, because I'm a duke's son. Because you are Jessica's son. Damn. Goodbye, young human. I hope you live. What an experience that was. So he had to be tested because of what he gets from his mom. Yeah. You're lucky he didn't die in that room. If he is the one, he has a long way to go. The one? But our plans are measured in centuries. We have other prospects. If he fails his promise. Damn, so I have a contingency plan? On Arrakis, we have done all we can for you. Let's hope he doesn't squander it. A path? I mean, he's not even supposed to be there for a little while. So is the voice only for women? I guess. And she... She wasn't even supposed to have a son. So not only did she have a son, but then she trained him in the voice. The way. The way. Jesus. All we did was put a hand on a box and I'm stressed the fuck out. Yeah, now Paul's like, what the hell? That I could be the one. He had. Yeah, something very specific. Powerful enough to bridge space and time. Help us into a better future. That's a powerful mind. Oh, part of the plan. I feel like that's an insane secret to keep from him until now. Whoa. I know, it feels like he has so much, like, destiny on his shoulders already. All right, so likely Duncan's about to fail at creating the alliance yeah yeah he might find duncan already dead or something it's a little wild that it doesn't seem they have any type of communication with the team that was already there like they're just like arriving on time man so far in the future and then we still got bagpipes I assume it like went backwards. Like the technology got so advanced with those like armor, like you can't shoot anyone with it because the bullets go too fast or whatever. Mm. So that's why now you use swords so you can go slowly into them. Young master, how does it feel to walk in a new world? Exciting. This world kind of sucks compared to where they came from. It's full of spice. Yeah, but not water. Oh yeah, blue eyes. Is that the one? Is that what they were? Trainees! Let's train it! Let's train it! Whoa. It's like a dragonfly. Yeah. Oh, they literally flap. What are they shouting? Listen, Al Qaib. It's their name for Messiah. Messiah? They were already pointing at him saying Messiah? Planting superstitions. Preparing the way, Paul. Oh, is that the path that they set into motion? They see you, they see the signs. Wow. You see what they've been told to see? Yeah, right? That's crazy, showing up to a planet that they've already, like, done propaganda to make yeah. it seem like he's this messiah. Shield wall protects the city from the weather and the worms. About that hive wall. So intricate. Yeah, it's all connected. Oh, I guess maybe the whole thing's a wall. Yeah. huge when you put those in comparison well the hand of god is wreaking havoc on our comm system it's so quiet that's what worries me too yeah too quiet 
To shower, you scrub your ass with sand, my lord. That's what they say. Jeez. Candidates for a housekeeper, my lady. Is Zendaya gonna be here? If you are truly the one. Slow. It's a crisp knife. The maker of the deep desert. I thought she was about to stab herself. It is an Al Qaeda, the mother and the son. It is yours. I mean, she told her girl to be ready for violence, though. I wonder if that knife can go through uh, the shields. The shields? Like, what's so special about it? Shouldn't he get inside? I thought it was getting too hot. Should we remove them? Save the water? No, no. These are sacred. Old dream. You say old dream? All dream? It's the sand one, capable of reaching 400 meters in length. So that's the other thing. I, I knew about spice and I knew about worms. And it reminded me of SpongeBob because it's the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> Which emulates the natural sounds of the desert. Oh, you gotta walk. Mm. It's like tremors. A parched, nutrient poor landscape. Um, what? That just burned its way through his wall? It's crazy that he noticed that too. Yeah. Oh shit, there's your shield. Is it looking for him? Uh oh. The operator must be nearby. Uh oh. Holy shit, he was already almost assassinated? I don't give a damn about your honor. You want absolution? Go catch some spies. Your grace. Holy shit, day one, he almost got assassinated. And that thing was so small. What the fuck is this? The thing must leave. Doesn't understand your language. Get out. Ugh. His wife is under our protection, and by extension, her son. Oh. Allow them the dignity of exile. Jeez, this guy's gross. I give you my word. We will not harm them. He almost tried to kill him. Everyone else is fair game now. So the Emperor's gonna strengthen Harkonnen by giving him another army? My desert. My Arrakis. Can you fly? I do. Or he's super tall? They got some weird shit going on that Harkonnen planet. Have this judge of the change accompany us. Oh. We'll get a bit of imperial protection. A hostage. <laughs> yeah. Was oh, this Duncan? Oh, he's not dead yet. How big was the place? I'd say 10,000 people. And there are hundreds of sieges. Whoa. The Harkonnen estimate was 50,000 on the whole planet. That's oh. it? I've never come so close to dying. <laughs> There's no finer fighter in the Imperium. That's insane. Desert power. That's no what wonder. He wants. Yeah, no wonder he wants that alliance. Your leader has a knife. He won't surrender, sire. It's a Chris knife. It's sacred to his people. Oh, that's that's a knife they gave to the uh, his mom. Mm -hmm. Hey! Hmm. Oh shit! Welcome. Hold. <clears throat> Thank you, Stilgar. Thank you. Gift of your body's moisture. <laughs> we accept it in the spirit in which it was given. <laughs> Is this a choker? Is this really the culture? And you will never be hunted while I govern here. That's very honorable. I must go. She, she. Oh, wow. And I don't think everyone speaks the language. No. Plan bears fruit. But it will take time. It will take time. I mean, that was progress for sure. That was the, uh, the villain from No Country for Old Men. Ah, uh, yes. I was like, why do I recognize him? I don't... Anton. Yeah. They're fierce, but loyal. They're tuned to the desert. It's beautiful out there. This is like an insane amount of world building that needs to happen. And I feel like they're doing a pretty great job of it so far. Yeah. Because we really haven't done much in the movie so far. Yeah. Well, the beginning of the movie said part one. I didn't yeah. realize that there was an intention for part two before they even did part one. The judge of the change side, Dr. Liet Kynes. My Lord Duke. Yeah, why hasn't the change been very good? With your permission, sire, I must check the integrity of your Oh, it's all right. He is quick to defense. 
and recycles the water lost to sweat. Inside the mask, you'll find a tube to allow you to drink the recycled water. Dang, they can just drink their sweat? I mean, on a desert planet, I think that's a pretty great suit. Your desert boots are fitted slip fashion at the ankles. Who taught you to do that? Oh. Come and see the spice sands on which your livelihood depends. Man, all this, like, propaganda is really hidden. I mean, but is it propaganda if it's real? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like is it just that sisterhood that has done this for thousands of years to really like lay the foundation for this or is it actual truth that's one of your harvesters i mean for like harvesting resources it doesn't seem that damaging to the you environment the scattered over the surface worms travel deep but get closer to the surface when they attack is that a worm how many crawlers do you lose to worms? Oh. oh big one. Delta Ajax Snyder, this is one of one. One sign confirmed. Yeah, how do they defend against the worms? Do they just stop working? That's what I was thinking. Maybe they just stop moving. Because it sounds like it's the rhythm. So what happens now? They'll harvest right up to the last minute. Calling carry all alpha. Oh, Damn. They pick it up? Contact five minutes. Over. They have five minutes? I guess. It looked re really close. The visual on the carry -all. There it is. It's insane that they'll work to like the very last moment. Yeah. Oh no. Uh oh. Yeah, where is it? How many men on that crawler? Crew of 21. Whoa. Big dive. Yes, Gurney, have our escorts throw out the shield generators. Put seven men each in my ships now. They only have four minutes, and that was like two minutes ago. <laughs> First steps on the sand. Remember, you gotta be like... Oh, you gotta yeah, walk awkwardly, right? Oh, you can see the spice. All right, Paul, you don't have a lot of time. They're taking off? Yeah. Gotta, they couldn't take anybody? I guess not. Damn the spice! I want every man off that crawler now! They're not leaving? Oh! Oof. It's not a good time for an episode. Oof! What are you doing, Paul? May his passage cleanse the world and keep the world for his people. Damn, swallow that thing no problem. Whoa, oh. that's a vision. Someone will hand me a blade, but I don't know who. Some things, though, are crystal clear. I can feel it. Why are her eyes blue? Is she Fremen? T2? No, you're pregnant. What the heck? And I thought Zendaya was going to be, like, important in, uh, maybe she was the daughter of, like, the leader of the Fremen. Mm. And maybe that would be, like, the way to join the Alliance. Are they getting blood from those people? Yeah. Okay, there's the reinforcements for that. She's always stressing out. <laughs> I think she has a lot to be stressed about. <laughs> Yeah, so is she Fremen or her baby, it looks like, is going to be Fremen. But then that would also mean, well, that means one of the parents needs to be Fremen. I mean, that one order of those women did tell the other bad guy that he's off limits. But he didn't take the sleep meds. I guess not. I wonder if Paul did. What is this? What is that sign? Oh shit. Oh! Oh! Uh. No way. The doctor? The second that he gave him those pills, I was like, he, mm. 
he paused for like half a second when he said, Holy crap, this is a massacre so far. With me! Finally hitting back. Jeez, just shield on shield. Oh, they just jumped out behind him? Ooh. Damn. Doesn't even seem fair. I'm going to replace your back tooth and you will fill the air with poison. But if you choose your moment well, it will also be the Baron's. No way. So he's like betrayed him for his wife, but still gonna try to take care of Paul and then gave him a poison tooth. To kill, to kill whoever the... he ends up in the room with. There's no way Paul took that medicine. Oh. The sacred trees. Oh. oh. That was sick. Oh, yeah, they couldn't. Yeah, technically, they didn't kill him. They just dropped him off in the middle of the desert. Jesus. There's going to be nothing left of this city. Oh, no shields for these guys? Oh. Oh, got hit a little, but he's all right. He's got some serious skill. Yeah. Oh, that looked like it worked. Kill him! Oh! Give me the knife! Oh! Damn! Your pitch was too forced. What a skill. Wow. I mean, do you even want to go back there? There's nothing left. I thought this would be like drawn out, but like in one night. They totally wiped out House Atreides. This is Dr. Yue's handwriting. If anyone makes it out of Arakeen alive, there's an Atreides beacon in the front kit. The doctor set that up too? Yeah. I said I'd set her free. That you could join her. So join her. Jeez. Your son is dead. Your concubine is dead. And your bloodline ends forever. No shot. That seemed to work. The heck? Was he just like up there in the ceiling? I think so. So he's not dead. Mm -mm. Much different than the last dream. Yeah, last dream. Oh, wow. They're just coming out of the... Yeah, last dream, he got stabbed by her. Damn. Oh shit, that was him? With blue eyes? This is not Arrakis, though. You better Desert made me a freak! A war waged in his name? His mom hasn't been in any... Of his dreams, though, right? Yeah, it's always Zendaya. I don't know, it's weird. It's like, is she destined to betray him, or...? Put it on, and called to lead. Oh yeah, the, the beacon. Hopefully it's Duncan. Yeah. Everything has to drink its own... Oh shit, so that lets you just dig through sand. recall what was the little mouse in his vision oh it was right he was looking at it well i remember him like studying tapes or whatever and there was like one near like underground roots or mm -hmm. something oh lady oh 
I'm so sorry. That's it. It's just them. My Lord Duke. Yeah, he's in charge now. Even if it's just Duncan. Harkin has hit every population center on the planet at once. There must have been ten legions, hundreds of ships. You cross swords with the Sardaukar. You know it. The only benefit is the, the Harkonnens. Or they think there's only 50,000 Fremen. And there's like a million plus of them. I didn't know if they actually thought that or if they were just telling them that. Arrakis could have been a paradise. Then the spice was discovered. And suddenly no one wanted the desert to go away. Oh, so they can change this planet. He's, he had a vision of Duncan dead in his room with a bunch of bodies. Oh, yes. You know what the great houses fear most, Dr. Kynes? Exactly what has happened to us here. I feel like I also saw a vision, or he saw a vision, with like a burnt hand with like a finger missing. Was it the index finger where his ring is? Furman, speak of the Lassan al Gaib. Superstition. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, they're already talking about it. How'd they even track him here? Oh, that was sick. When Paul had this vision, he wasn't there. And he was saying, like, if I was there, I could have saved you. Yeah. I just really don't want to lose <laughs> Jason Momoa. Is he realizing? Yeah. It's the room? I hope so. It might be time for his mom to give him that knife. Duncan, no! Jeez. He's gone. Duncan! We have to go. We have no choice. Damn, this thing's strong. Oh my god. I'll go to the next station and report this attack to the Lands Rat. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, I don't like that they got separated from her. Ooh. Oh, a worm. Hmm. It's an interesting distraction. Yeah, it's calling the worm. Maybe not a distraction. Maybe she's... Doing it on purpose? Like... Sending them, sending it straight to them. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. What was she trying to do? Uh, she's not getting the word out now. That worm's still coming. His name is Shai Halud. Oh. You're not leaving. Jeez. So she believes in him, or at least who he's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh oh. That jet flares behind us. Get lost in the sand. You gotta still survive this, though. Uh -oh. oh, the sand's just eating through this. We must join it. We must flow with it. Just flow with the sand? Damn, it sucks that he lived. Nothing survives such a storm. They're dead. If you flow with the storm? It worked. For a little. Is that enough? As soon as we land, run for the rocks. You're gonna have a rough landing. Oh. I was like, that's not too far. It's kind of far. <laughs> I was waiting for a worm to just like eat it right away. Find the 
I mean, they may find you. There's no way that they didn't hear that landing. Oh, I forgot she's pregnant. We'll have to walk like the Fremen do. It's called a sand walk, at least according to the phone books back home. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna take forever to walk like that. Uh oh. Run! But can I get through that? I don't know. Oh, it is right there. Jeez. Those things are everywhere. How big are they? That was insane. Yeah, they're definitely watching you. You were totally surrounded. You help us off world, you will be well rewarded. What wealth can you offer beyond the water in your flesh? Hey. We fighting? Okay. Could it be Udnuk? Huh, they all do that? I would not have let you hurt my friend. He's been dreaming about you for a long time. You've had visions of him too, I believe. May not challenge a Sayadina. Then who will fight in her name? Jamis, don't do this. And we're gonna fight again? You already... I feel like they should just use the voice and just be like, stay here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck you, fuck off, dude. Okay, don't do that. To rise. You must die to rise? You take your own. The hell he has to lose to this guy? I don't believe you're the Lisan al Gahib, but I want you to die with honor. Oh. It's made from a tooth of Shai Halud, the great sandworm. Oh dang, that's a sandworm tooth. For you to die holding it. And she has no faith in him. No! Where's the outworld? Well, I guess he does have to die, right? I guess. Kind of sucks his vision was like, you gotta get stabbed. If you won't let you suffer. How nice. I'm sure if he's meant to die, something's gonna happen after that. Yeah, get resurrected somehow. I mean, everyone will be like, holy shit, he's a messiah, heavenly, godlike figure coming back from the dead. They said they wanted proof. That was good. His poor mom is always going through it, though. Now she needs to watch his son. Oh! Oh, come on, he's gotten you twice. Three times. Who has never killed a man? Arise. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that was not like the vision, and that was not the guy who was teaching him stuff. Had him dead to rights multiple times. My father came, not for spice, but for the strength of your people. My road leads into the desert. Oh, they officially joined up. Oh, what? This is only the beginning. They ride the worms? So that's why she was calling... The, the lady who got stabbed? The change lady? Yeah, she was about to jump on. Felt like a part one. <laughs> All right, that was Dune. What'd you think? That was like epic. I agree. I feel like so much of the movie was just epic. That's gonna be like my word of the outro. The environment that the whole movie takes place in is just like breathtaking to look at. And then 
the fight scenes and the technology and storytelling yeah history the history of it um everything just felt so epic and like you said at the very end there it very much felt like a part one so it was so epic but i was just like waiting for more so i mean that's is, what the sequels for. yeah i guess there is more in a few weeks mm -hmm. yeah I, I mean it was definitely epic uh like you said we'll use that a ton the scale of everything the atmosphere that the movie created was super impressive i feel like there was so much information but it didn't feel like people were just like exposition dumping or like yes you know um yeah. and again i apologize obviously i'm sick so my brain is working at like 20 percent, and i just can't physically pronounce things correctly also so i'm sure i butchered every house name every planet name but it's impressive that uh, we have so many things going on, like mm -hmm. an emperor that's uh, afraid of like different houses and all of this political intrigue. Then you have these shadow women pretty much who, who kind of work angles behind the scenes and have like been implanting this prophecy idea on this planet for a while or throughout the galaxy or whatever. And then you have hints of like a holy war in Paul's name. Mm -hmm. You have the fight over the resources and then you have the struggle between like the Fremen people who are uh, like indigenous to this planet and then getting ravaged by outsiders. Like there's just so much yeah. going on. And then you have this other layer of like Paul, which is crazy. You have all of these like crazy names and it's like and the character is like, hey, I'm Paul. <laughs> it's like it's like the writer just was like i don't know like we'll go with paul because paul's like my best friend or something but then paul has all of these crazy visions and he has also this like line of like he can see things but it doesn't always play out how he sees them he said that at some point i think when he was like getting tested with his hand in the box mm. um so like we had that final battle where I, like i thought he had to get stabbed but then he had to kill someone so I don't know. He like he can see things. Like he saw Zendaya stab him in the chest, but then he had another vision where like Zendaya was right by him as he was like getting cheered on by like a crowd of people. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean he was asked I think by his mom or maybe it was the woman with the box um, asking if his visions came true. Yeah, I think it was the one with the box who asked. Yeah, and he said not always. Um, and I, in that moment, thought that it was kind of a form of protection to just be vague. Yeah. Um, but I think that's what it is. And I think he can control it. And the fact that at the end there, like he's being shown that he's going to get stabbed. But then it, I think it did say something along the lines of like, you can take a life instead. Life for a life. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what ended up happening. And obviously his mom was so worried when he continued to yield. And she mentioned like, he's never killed anyone before. So that felt like kind of that final transformation that he needed Yeah. for whatever's going on with him being like the one. Um, but also now for him to be welcomed into like this Fremen community. Yeah. So, I mean, there's just so much yeah. to talk about. I'm curious who the hell this emperor is because the emperor's shady as hell because they took out house Arakin Rockin' or something like that. Yeah. And then put in House Atreides, Atreides. Atreides, yeah. Atreides, fully understanding to like fuck them. And yeah. then the Emperor also gave his own like force yeah. to go join this war. Yeah. I mean, is there anyone left? Duncan died, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, his dad is dead. The doctor. The doctor. But what about the Josh Brolin's character? Like they were all still fighting, but it's like, I don't know, could they? Well, I would say, could they be captured? But then you also had Dave Bautista just chopping heads off. Yeah, I think that they're dead. I think, honestly, like, Paul and his mom might be the last of the Atreides. House the family. Yeah. Which is interesting that the mom is not married and they, like, referenced her as a co co concubine. <laughs> concubine. <laughs> That's, I'm sick. I'm, so, I'm trying. <laughs> so it's like, she's technically not even house... Atreides. Yeah, she's like her own. And I mean, I guess they said that they were like trying to create like more of these voice 
Yeah, that's another thing. You have the freaking voice yeah. in here. So there's just so much going on. Yeah, there's a lot of story to this. And obviously, I mean, this movie is pretty long, but I think they did a really good job like trying to put everything in it without it being too heavy. But I mean, this is this feels like an entire universe that you could... This doesn't feel like two movies. No. This feels like a fuck ton of movies yeah. to tell this whole story yeah. and like will they get the opportunity to i feel like we haven't even really started the story exactly like i feel like this was like a preview and yeah. it was like okay here's what you need to know spark notes and then we're about to get into the movie yeah like i really enjoyed it i mean you're gonna have this crazy uprising with the fremen people yeah. led i assume by paul yeah this seems to extend past arrakis which is crazy though, because we saw like visions of him in like a very lush area, mm -hmm. but he was also with Zendaya and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, was that Arrakis though, with the water pulled to the surface? Right. Like they ha they went into detail about what their plans were for the planet prior to the discovery of spice and what it does and not wanting to lose any desert space right um but clearly i mean people are suffering yeah this planet could be a paradise yeah. if it wasn't for the, the greed. spice the greed of the yeah. spice but then also the spice it's not like i didn't know what spice was i yeah. just i just knew that there was spice mm -hmm. um I, I like i said in the intro maybe i thought it, like it could honestly just be like spices yeah like, you know spices used to be fucking important they're but still important yeah, for cooking. for cooking, but I mean, they used to be very important, yeah. um, but it, it literally allows for like travel, like yeah, inner no, space travel. Huge. Yeah. Like that's massive to be able to travel the stars and stuff. But Paul. Right. But then, yeah, his, his mind would allow for like travel between. Yeah. It was like the connection between space and time. Something like that. So yeah. can, can Paul essentially make spice irrelevant? Yeah. And that would Or he's more powerful than Spice. He's literally more powerful than Spice. Yeah. Which that is absolutely worth having a war over. Yeah. Because that threatens the Emperor and the Arakin. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it threatens them because that's literally where all of their power and influence comes. Right. By controlling the Spice. Yeah. So here comes this savior of these people who also is like, fuck this stuff. Yeah that shakes up the whole galaxy. Yeah. We also looked up how to say the director's name. Yeah. Because it was bothering me since we couldn't say it in the intro. Denny. Denny Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. Hopefully that's even correct in my sick voice. <laughs> what he was able to create in this movie was just like astonishing to watch and I know that we're probably gonna get shit for watching this on uh, our small screen because I just can't imagine what this would have been like in the theater. Seeing this in like IMAX yeah. in a movie theater yeah. must have been an experience. Yeah. Because we haven't touched on it much, so might as well like the soundtrack and the music. Yes. I mean, people were like walking in the rain and I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is crazy intense. Yes. Just people walking. Yeah, no, the use of sound, the use of music in this was probably, it probably might, might have been my favorite part of the whole movie. I was trying to decide between kind of the visuals, um, but I think it was the sound. So many things sounded so like menacing. It was also like, tension you didn't know what you were going to get out of a moment and obviously we're learning so much as this film's going on so you don't really know what to expect because you're like wait wait is this good or wait like is this a bad person and even the moment with just like the doctor giving them the pills like i got a weird feeling from it and i guaranteed it was probably off of some sound that yeah. came out of this and it was like, well, but the doctor seems very well trusted. Like they do trust him in this. So little things like that, it just builds the tension in the film. So, I mean, the sound design was amazing. I, I mean, literally everything. I mean, the sound design was spectacular. The costume design oh, yeah. was off the charts. The tech, you know, the spaceships, yeah. uh, the action sequences. I mean, I love this like blend of futuristic yet like, I, I'm gonna say Game of Thrones, but that's like the best, that, but more of like, like the houses yeah. and the uh, exploration and travel aspect, like it kind of makes sense 
that you get so far in the future and you're you know sending people out to different planets and whatever mm -hmm. that like you establish these more independent houses and stuff yeah because you're so spread out yeah and it's like okay you this family's gonna go conquer this world mm -hmm. and this family goes conquers this world and stuff yeah so it makes sense it gives you that that feeling of like sending your soldiers out there and then to combine like the suits with the shields with the fact that everyone uses blades now because the shields stop pretty much anything else but then yeah. you saw like the bombs and like the bullets and stuff that would like are designed to like go fast and then slow through the shield and then be effective. Yeah, or same with the little arrows. Yeah, those like little dart things. Yeah, darts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which uh, were kind of fired by like guns and stuff. So like, like yeah. modified bullets and stuff. So it's like all feels very otherworldly yeah. yet so grounded in like reality. Right. Like the whole like dragonfly helicopters. Like, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, someone, I mean, that's how we fucking did planes and shit. Like we look at birds and we're like, okay, wings, that works. So someone looked at a grasshopper and was like, let's make a bunch of mechanical grasshoppers or dragonflies. dragonflies. Um, also like the suits, like everyone has these suits, but like the way that they explained it, we're living in a desert planet yeah. and how the suits like recycle the water. And I know. like, that's, it's, I mean, even when she drank some, she was like, oh, it's tears and sweat. It's yeah. Like, oh, that must taste terrible. Yeah. But it's uh, so realistic yeah. or like the- Very clever. The sand thumper that gets you through sand. Yeah. Or the one that attracts the worms. Uh-huh. So it's just so much tech and yet even when it's old style, it makes sense. And then when it's futuristic, it makes sense. So it's very easy to watch this movie and just be immersed in the reality of it because it feels real for what you're watching. Absolutely. And I think movies, based off novels like that's something that they have like an advantage of is the person obviously that the author took the time to build something and there's no like i feel like there's not a lot of like plot holes and things like that when it comes from a novel so coming from this and explaining all of this tech and all of the shields and all of the things in this it comes from probably good source material. I haven't read the book. Um, I know my dad has. I've talked about it before. He's very into uh, science fiction, um, graphic novels, novels, movies, yeah. all of it. So I think that is always like a step up when you get a good adaptation. Yeah, I mean, this book uh, is like a staple of sci-fi. Yeah. I have not read it uh, either, uh, but I know its importance um, in the sci-fi world. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there is a, I think a positive re uh, reception to this book and to this, I mean, to this movie based on that book. Like, I don't have anything to base it off of because I haven't read the book, but just watching this as a first timer to this world, mm -hmm. I'm completely sold on everything and I'm very excited for future installments. I don't know how many it will take. Yeah. I assume more than one, but there's a whole story here that I want to see play out. Yeah, and I mean, we're lucky in the aspect that this came out in 2021, it's 2024, and we don't have to wait. Yeah, <laughs> Dune 2 comes out in a few weeks, so yeah. unfortunately and fortunately, uh, we won't watch it in IMAX in the theaters. We'll wait so that we can watch it for the channel. Will we? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if we should yeah. or if we should just go enjoy it in the theater. But this was quite an experience. I expected nothing less yeah. from the director, yeah. Dunny, and I, I think it delivered on, on everything I, I was wanting. And I wasn't expecting to feel like so little happened, but be totally okay with it yeah. and be so excited for what uh, could come next. Yeah, no, I mean, it just developed so perfectly and it really does like just get you so excited for the sequel. Oh yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.